I asked you on Instagram what kind of mini tutorial I should record for you and you decided for how to achieve a bronzy and tanned skin look with Photoshop. So if you want to know how I brought her skin tone from this to that in just four easy steps, then watch this video. In the future I want to make more videos that really help you and so I will make this mini tutorials a series on my YouTube channel. Follow my Instagram if you want to help me decide for the next topic and now let's jump right into Photoshop. This is the picture I'm going to use for today's tutorial. I shot it some time ago in the studio and it's a perfect example for today's topic because I wanted to show you a more extreme before and after example and her light skin tone will show the effect really well. I already did my base color grading and skin retouch on this image and I will show you now what I do if I want to achieve a bronzy or tanned look on my model. But first of all I want to say that you should be careful with changing the skin tone too much. So all the techniques I will show you today should be used on a minimum level to give your model just a slightly sun-kissed look and not to change her whole skin tone. The first thing I have a look at before I touch the skin tones of my model is their overall skin undertone. To make a video about different skins and undertones would be a topic I could talk about for hours and maybe I can make a whole video about this. But for today's video it's just important to know that my model has a cool undertone. Unfortunately my Photoshop is in German, but I will write you the English names of the tools I'm using in the video so that you can apply the steps to your version as well. And now I will show you what my first step is. You may know from yourself that a tan always gives you a warmer skin tone. And this is what we want to achieve in Photoshop as well. So the first thing I'm doing is turning her skin tone in a slightly warmer tone. As we can see she has a lot of blue in her skin tone and so I remove the blue a little bit and bring in the yellows a little bit more. But you have to try what works best for your image and skin undertone of your model. As you can see now, the warmer tones are all over the image, but we want it to be just on the skin. And so I like to work with layer masks and after inverting it, I just brush over the skin with a soft brush in opacity 50%. In the before and after you can now clearly see that her skin tone became a lot warmer. After that I added a new photo filter adjustment layer. What you see often is that people use these presets here, which you can totally do, but I always prefer to choose a tone by myself. This way you can easily slide through all available colors and see which one would fit your picture best. I decided on this yellowish tone and after this I add a layer mask again and invert it. And now guess what, I use my soft brush again and brush over the skin. And 
as you can see the color looks a bit too fake and so I adjust the opacity to make it look more natural. I make sure to always check the before and after and if I like the result I move on to step 3. Here I like to work with curves. First of all, I like to add a little bit more contrast to give the bronzy tone a little bit more depth in the picture. And then I also decreased the blue curve a little bit. After that I added another layer mask and inverted it to brush the effect just on the skin of my model. And it looks again way too much and so I will decrease the opacity of the whole layer and the last step I'm doing for this image is to give her face more bronzy contrast by decreasing the brightness of the image a lot. And then I use an inverted mask again to make the outer corners of her face a little bit darker and more bronzy. I always decrease the opacity a little bit to make it look more natural and then I'm done. This is the before and after and as you can see I did way too much but this is a good example for you to show you how you can work with my workflow and uh, what I would normally do now is probably creating a group of all the layers together and decreasing the opacity of all layers to make the effect look less fake. I hope I could help you with this mini tutorial and I would be happy if you subscribe my channel and follow me on Instagram to help me decide for the next mini tutorial topic.